everyone, this is Sunglass Rob from SportRx, and I'm here with Kevin from Snowboard Pro Camp. What's up, guys? We have a lot of goals for this week, but first thing we need to do is set up my snowboard. Yeah. And I'm kind of clueless here, and you're not. Yeah, no, as well as the first day in Mammoth. Yeah, we got to get you set up, Rob, so get your proper stance. Yes. Um, appropriate for the riding today. Yes. Um, it's snowing here in Mammoth, so it's going to be like an all-mountain free ride kind of day. Um, so yeah, let's get your stance set up. Uh, first, do you know if you're regular or goofy? I'm regular, left foot forward. Left foot forward. That's regular, right? Okay, easy. So yeah. the front of the board is this one, this is the nose. Always follow Sport RX. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, let's get the bindings on. All right. First so up. there's markings here, because this is how it was set up last season, but I have no idea if it was right or it was just kind of like, so yeah, gotta, we can use this as a guide for sh sure. Show me the way. Um, do you want to grab that one? Yeah. Yeah. So first, we'll just, we'll just throw the bindings on. Get them in place. You should have a few guides there. Yeah, does that go into so, this? So Rob has the EST setup, which means it's the Burton channel system. But for binding setup, there is pretty much all the same in terms of, you know, angles and um, placement. Let's line up those screws. Nice, right, okay. And then just get this sunk in there. Cool. All right, so what has your stance been in the past? Do you know the angles? No. No, okay. There's <laughs> angles? <laughs> There's angles, yeah. So today we're gonna to be doing a lot of free riding, riding in one direction. So typically with that, you wanna have your front foot set a bit forward, and that's just gonna allow you to steer a bit easier, and then have the back foot not as much of a severe angle, just for that back foot sort of like. So if it's, per if it's perpendicular with the board, is that considered zero degrees? That'd be zero, okay, straight cool. on. And yeah. then like this way's negative and this way's positive? Yeah, so I'm we're gonna- learning already? Exactly, yeah, we're gonna do a bit of a fish stance. Okay. So I think maybe 15 in the front, and then like a negative nine in the back. Negative nine? Yeah. I don't know why that worries me because I don't even know what it means, but yeah. yeah. The easy way to think about it is just think about how you would like bend down and squat naturally in real life. Yeah. And you would probably not do it with your knees straight. They'd, your feet would duck out a little bit. That makes sense. So that's what we're gonna do up. All right. Um, just a quick note too, that if when you're setting up your bindings, you wanna have the fat sort of straps on the inside. Yeah, that's the left foot. This is the left foot, yeah. Nice. All right. So we're gonna set you up with the all mountain free ride stance. So it's gonna be a bit more directional. If we were, if this was a park day, we would probably try to set it up a bit more even, maybe at like a 15, a negative 15. Then you can ride, and then you'd be able to ride switch. You'd be able to, you know, get in for practicing 180s and things like that. So this is a more of a directional setup. All right, cool. So for all mountain riding, you kind of want to have a smaller tail and a larger nose. So we're going to set your back binding pretty much the full way, all the way back. Which is, I think, where it just has always been. Perfect, yeah. Right. And then we also want to get it centered, so it's right in the center of your snowboard. looks fairly centered. What you can do is you can actually grab your snowboard boot and throw it in there. And then we can sort of measure how much the toe and the heel come out over the board and just try to get it nice and even. How's that looking? Maybe the front's out a little bit more. Yeah, so we can slide it back a bit. That's probably a little bit better. All right, so we'll take the boot out. There you go. Then we'll set this back to negative nine. There's actually little numbers in there. There is. Do you want to do the honors? Sure. <laughs> is there a story with this thing? That's the. Uh, it came from Canada. Snowboard Pro Camp screwdriver. If you is guys it? have your stance set up already, it's always good to carry a. Maybe not a screwdriver of that magnitude, but just a pocket screwdriver for emergencies. Give it a quick tighten. How do you know tighten. how tight to go? Like, I would there, say just is a, there a such thing as over tightening? There is, I would just do like whatever's, the feels get about. a good snug tightness yeah, okay. happening, yeah. 
Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. All right, so we got your back foot all the way back, smaller, smaller tail, negative nine, and then we'll do the front. We want to leave you with some room on your nose, but we also just want to make it a comfortable width. So a general rule is just a little bit wider than your shoulders. So how does this look here? So I'm going to set the front to plus 15. Okay. And then actually, if you just want to stand up, just take a look. I won't get you to stand on the table. Yeah. Is it looking wide enough? I think so. All right, yeah, we'll set it up and then you can always try it out and we can adjust it a bit later, but sure. I think this looks a bit wider than your shoulders, so I'll get this one done for you. All right, one thing that's overlooked in snowboarding is the high backs. And basically what your high back does is the more you angle it forward, the more response you'll get from your heels. So right now your high back is set at zero, so you're getting no response from your heels. So that means that you just have to lean a, a bit further back when initiating that heel turn. So let's try, what I usually start with is the high back, it's the range is zero to six. So why don't we set it to a four and you can kind of experiment with that. You know, I think that's been a problem in the past. Oh really? Yeah, my heel, going heel side, I get kind of wobbly and I really feel like I lose control of the board. Yeah, this will take away that heel side chatter. Um, so how does this work? I'm trying to go plus or minus right now. Actually, I think you had it maxed out. So let's take it. Let's take it down a bit. Okay. Let's take it to a four. So you just want to see that F four kind of lined up with the top. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So we got fifteen. We got nine. We got balance. We got four. Perfect. Minus nine. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, right. minus nine. Centered, um, so you don't get too much heel or toe drag. So Rob, you have 13, size 13 feet, and a wide board, so that's really important to get the boot centered, then you don't have any heel or toe drag. So this is it. I feel like with setting up your snowboard stance, this is like the general good starting point, uh, but we can take it up on the mountain, and then you can feel it out, and we can do some adjusting from there. Yeah, it's not permanent, right? You always gotta fine tune it a little bit. Yeah, fine tune it, keep those, those screws tight each time we go. All right, let's go shred. Let's do it, man.